Welcome back. Do you know what the most annoying noise in the world is? It's this one. For about three years, if not more, that was the sound that I woke up to every weekday. And I resented that noise with a passion. And in this in this episode, I want to talk to you about finding out when you are most productive. And for me, that was not first thing in the morning. So here in the UK, right now, it's just gone, uh, there we go, five past two in the afternoon. This is sort of the peak of when I'm getting into my main productive part of the day. Mid-afternoon into evening into late into the night i work best now this is like the start this is like the pinnacle of my working day my productivity spike is i'm probably about the spike if the spike is here i'm probably about here um so i'm well on the way to being fully awake fully aware and this is when i do my best stuff now to give you an idea this morning i went to the gym i was there for around 10 ish um, <laughs> it was not, not the best day. I, I I smashed my finger between two dumbbells. Not not advised. Not advised really. Um, me trying to be clever. Again, a bit silly. But I made it back here. I was back at the office for eleven o'clock. Had a meeting with the staff. Made sure everything was good. And. Then me and my business partner had to catch up and we're strategizing about a few things, the software pieces that we've got uh, going on in the side, as well as the main business as well. And this has led us to now. This is like my middle of, we've, we've, I've had two meetings and now this is when I do the best part of my work. And it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Now, if you're working for someone else and you're working the normal, say, nine to five, you're actually coming towards the end of your working day. You, you know, you're you sort of into the middle of your shift, uh, if not just past it, and you're, you've only got a few hours left before you finish. This is why I was terrible as an employee, because although, to be fair, and again, this sounds horrendously big-headed and it's not meant to be, I was still <laughs> tended to be more productive than morning people just due to how i'm wired uh and my output is incredibly high um just because i'm quite if i'm doing a job i'll be motivated at it and other than rather than someone who's just doing the job because they get paid at the end of the day and that's their life if i'm going to do a job i'm going to throw everything i've got at it and do my best but ultimately you're not getting your best from me at nine o'clock in the morning and I think as part of being an entrepreneur, that's one of the luxuries now that I have, is being able to work when I know I'm most productive. So me waking up at 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning to be at the desk for 9, I'm really not going to get much done those first two hours, if anything. I'll be, I might be here and you might be able to talk to me, but I'm really not going to be fully with it, fully you know, at the peak of my productivity. I work best afternoons, evenings, nighttime. And in in the working world, in this traditional working world, tough. You have to work nine while five because that's when everyone else works. That's when the business works. And I, it, it sucks. It, so if you're not a morning person, and I know there's so many entrepreneurs out there who will go, oh, the most productive people in the world are, you know, morning people. Bullshit. We all have 24 hours in a day. How we use them is up to us. If you're working 18 hours a day, but you wake up at four, but I'm working 18 hours a day and I'm going to bed at four, it doesn't matter. We still have that period of time where no one, you know, we can get stuff done undistracted from the rest of the world. So don't fall for the bullshit that you have to be a morning person in order to be productive. Not true. You can work whenever suits you best. And rather than you trying to force yourself to be productive at four o'clock in the morning, if you're naturally more awake and more alert at 2 or 1 o'clock in the morning, work then. 
You know, there's no rules as an entrepreneur as to when you have to work. And don't fall into the trap of listening to what other people say. Oh, more people are productive in the morning. Not me. Trust me, I am not. Even if I'm going on a holiday and I have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm really considering, do I even want to go on holiday? I'd much rather just stay in bed for another few hours because I, I just don't wake up quickly. That is the truth. So, the one of the key parts of being an entrepreneur, if you're going to start building your own business, creating a, an online business, don't fall into the trap that, or, or that, that routine that the traditional working world has put before you. You don't have to get up at 9 o'clock. You don't have to be in the office at 9 o'clock in the morning. As long as you do what you have to do, then you'll be successful. And, and that is one of the luxuries, is you can work when suits you best. So utilize it to your advantage. It's as simple as that. Don't try and force yourself to be someone you're not. If you're not a morning person, don't try and be a morning person. It isn't going to work. Stick to what you know. Know yourself and act upon when you work best. And trust me, the results will speak for themselves. So with that said, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give me a like rating and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. See you.